Hello and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a little sit down video today talking about all of my favourite sportswear gear. It's basically the clothes that I live in at the moment. Since starting running I've gotten quite addicted to buying sports clothes and trying to find the ones that I feel most comfortable in. I'm going to talk you through things that I wear on pretty much a daily basis. It's hit October so I'm finally in knitwear but these are the things that I am wearing while I'm running. Okay it feels a little bit weird talking about underwear on YouTube but you can't really talk about sports gear and not talk about sports bras. This is one of the sports bras that I currently wear for running. I've had this one for quite some time actually, some of the stitching's coming undone. It's just a US Pro bra and it's got a little bit of padding in it and it's pretty comfy really, it's quite a stretchy material. It probably doesn't have a huge, huge amount of support um, but it does give me enough and quite like it, quite cheap and cheerful. I'll probably put some links in the bottom of probably mostly on the Sports Direct website to be honest because that's pretty much where I buy most of my sports gear from and yeah I'll try and put some links below there so you can see how much they are and things but I don't think this one cost a fortune, um, quite cheap really. I always find it difficult trying to find a sports bra that's comfortable and not too expensive. I don't know why I kind of feel reluctant to spend money on a sports bra because it's like underneath but it's a really important part of your sportswear because it's just very important to be comfortable there and not, you know, not bouncing around too much and things. But um, that is one of them. I have that in purple as well somewhere. Oh, I bought all my sports gear in. Yeah, I don't know where it's hiding. Here it is. And I actually bought this one off Amazon because I don't think they had a huge selection of colours on Sports Direct. So I just went on Amazon and found this same one, but in purple and really nice colour, really comfortable. And a lot of the time I do wear sports bras just around the house and sometimes for work and things to be honest I've kind of gone away from wearing underwired bras. I know that obviously sports bras and things aren't as attractive as wearing underwired bras but do you know what I'd rather just be comfortable and I don't know you can get some really sexy sports bras these days so I quite like being comfortable and wearing sports bras underneath normal everyday clothes. Another one that I'd say is a little bit better than those ones doesn't have any padding to it really it's this Caramore one so oh there's the little make in the corner there I've got this in grey and black and I've got the same size in both of them but for some reason the grey one I don't know whether I've just washed it too many times or something I can't remember whether it ever felt comfortable but for some reason that grey one has gone too tight so it's just kind of useless for running in um to be honest it's useless for anything i don't know why i'm maybe i'm just thinking i'm gonna get smaller all of a sudden and fit into it again maybe i should just throw it away i think i should just throw it away it's really uncomfortable <laughs> i put it on and then i take it immediately off before i go up for a run i'm like this is not very comfortable anyway this one i'd say very comfortable it does um keep you strapped in very very well i'd say so it does give a good support probably I don't know if you had really really big boobs it probably wouldn't work you probably would need to get something more expensive and with way more support but this one does the job for me very very well I like this one a lot one more bra that I bought recently is what is the make it's called Zach T and it's actually from Mountain Warehouse I really really like the shop for well basically it's called Mountain Warehouse so it kind of gives it away in the title but in the title in the name of the shop but it's for a lot of outdoors gear and hiking gear and that kind of stuff but it also has a really nice sports range that I thought I'd give a go this I really really like now it has insertable insertable pads that can go into here so you can have it a little bit more padded I prefer not to really, they fell out with the wash I think and then I just left them out. I think the design is beautiful, really really pretty, it's a really soft material and yeah I think that one is a really really good buy so this is one of my favourites. I'm actually doing the 10k in Bangor, my first 10k race ever, the first, yeah the first race that I've done really, I did the race for life a few years ago, I think I've done that a couple of times but that was just 5k and that was before I started running properly. And now that I actually am running, this is a proper, proper race. So I'm looking forward to that. But I obviously want to wear the most comfortable stuff that I can find in my sports gear. And I think I'm going to go with this for my bra. Because that's the comfiest one. Okay, bra talk is over with. The next thing I'm going to talk about is these shorts that I bought very, very recently, actually. I've gone for about five runs in them or something. Now these are from Sports Direct once more. And they are Caramore. 
very very pretty design i like the design a lot kind of like tiger stripes but in black and gray and yeah i really really like them Cover more always good quality stuff so with these i did have two other pairs of shorts that i've been wearing throughout the summer for running in and i love running in shorts the only thing is they're very short shorts that i've got and i do sometimes feel a little bit conscious they kind of rise up a little bit too much as well that i don't want and i just feel a little bit conscious in them and these when i saw these i was like i need to get these because they have built in an underlayer of like a cycling short that actually goes i don't know if you can tell from here but when you wear them that actually goes a little bit longer than this section of the shorts so you feel a little bit more protected and obviously it stops any rubbing or anything on your thighs if you get that kind of thing and it just i i personally just feel a little bit more comfortable in them and i'm hoping to wear these on the 10k if the weather is suitable enough i think it will be i think it might be raining but i went for a run in these in the rain the other day and it still felt amazing because the temperature you know we've hit october now and the temperature is kind of still quite mild it's not quite hit that freezing freezing cold although we did put the heat on this morning so when you obviously dress for running you want to dress a little bit less clothes for the temperature does that make sense if it's like 15 degrees you need to act as if it's like 20 degrees because you actually your body's gonna heat up anyway and i get so hot as soon as i start running they're so comfortable to run in they're just amazing obviously i'm not going to get that much more wear out of them this year it's going to start getting cold and i'm going to have to start wearing warmer things but for now I definitely like next year i'm not going to buy any of those shorts that don't have this underlay underneath because i i just really like it so i'm going to buy ones with this underneath so if you're looking for some shorts but you want a little bit of security here buy these they're amazing when i first started exercising i bought a few different color more t-shirts but i seem to have really got addicted to these ones i have how many colors one two three four different colors now and it's a color more make one again and it's just a really lightweight really really lightweight vest i just i don't know i've tried a few i just find they're not too expensive they're really comfortable and the weather's been so nice that these have been really nice to run in i wore my purple version so i've got a black version a gray version a purple version and a pink version and this is a really nice colour. I love this one. Exactly the same. It's a nice long length as well. It's just like got that really nice feel. It's just so comfortable to wear. Obviously really made for sports and yeah, sweating and, and things. I don't really have much else to say. Apart from I really, really like this one. Now, apart from shorts, obviously you need a decent pair of running pants. And I've got two to show you. Two of my most recent ones. It's Cavamore again. I hope this video should be sponsored by Cavamore. It just says Cavamore at the very, very bottom there. It says Cavamore up here. Got a really nice waistband. I really, this is what I love about these particular trousers. Um, as I say, I've got them in a couple of different kind of designs, very, very similar ones from Cavamore. And I really like the waistband on them. I don't really like, I know a lot of people like high-waisted leggings and I don't like that. I just find I prefer the waist to be sat just under my belly button so that I don't know I just it's just a nicer place which is sit on me I don't like it coming over I just find it doesn't feel as comfortable for me so this band sits really really nicely just where I want it to be and they just fit really really snugly and these have got a very fancy design of having like a netting what would you call it mesh can I is there anywhere I can get you to see that might see if I can find some pictures of me in them it's got a mesh detailing just on the bottom half of the back of each leg. So you can't really see it from the front, can you? No. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, you can. No, no, no. It's all on the back, I think. Pretty much the back half of both legs. And just looks really, really cool. I really like the design. It's just something different. And yeah, really, really comfortable. The second pair of these that I want to show you are these ones. And these are x light. Yeah, these are... I don't know why... Do, 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 do. there we go it says x light there um it says caramel at the back there also the waistband has inside laces that you can you can obviously pull the waistband tighter if you want so that's really really handy and i think both of them was it just this one just this power i think has a nice little pocket on the back which is really really handy for putting bubbles in keys in a tissue 
some sweets. <laughs> Don't know what else you put in there. Your barcode for doing the park run, you could pop that in there. Just a really, really handy little pocket. Ooh, there you go. I don't really use it to be honest because I have a little thing to go around my waist so I use that instead and I'll show you my favourite ones of them as well or my favourite one that's overtaken all of them at the moment. I'll show you that in a minute. So yeah this waistband is like a bluey turquoise colour. Really nice design on the back of the legs of this one as well and I don't know whether that'll show it but that's like a mesh material but it's got stripes on. Really find that quite cool. I do like that design a lot. And these are just, yeah, really, really comfortable. I don't know what else to say, really. They're beautifully comfortable. One more pair of leggings that I do love to wear. They're Caramore again, obviously. I'm not inside out because they've been washed. Um, these ones are completely different material. So they're thicker, so they're quite good for winter, but they are three quarter length. So it depends, but they're definitely still warmer for winter. I'd still definitely, I, I haven't worn these over summer because they're too thick. So I'll definitely be wearing these in a few weeks time, I think when the weather starts to get a little bit chillier. Again, these have got the waistband that has um, really nice thickness to the waistband to sit exactly where I like it to sit. And they've got the laces to kind of tighten it up to whatever um, tightness you like. And these are actually the Caramel Run ones and they have a little zip on the back as well. So they're really, really comfortable. I think I've got two pairs of them actually. Something that I'm going to start wearing now the weather is getting colder again. And I bought this last year. I've just made a complete mess behind me on my desk. I bought this ooh, last year in the sale from Sports Direct. Should have prepared all these before, shouldn't I really? And this is the only Under Armour. I think it's Under Armour. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, this is the only Under Armour item that I actually own and it's quite thin but it's really good just to protect you from the wind a little bit and just to give you that extra layer when the weather does start to get a bit chillier. I bought it in quite a large size because I wanted it to be quite baggy. I just wanted that kind of like baggy top to go over and um, when it does start to get a bit colder. I don't like running in things that are too tight on my top half. I just really like it, really pretty design, just nice and green and grey striped. Um, yeah, really pretty, really comfortable. I like it a lot. This one, funnily enough, I haven't worn for running yet, but I probably will when it does start to get colder. Oh, it's inside out again. At least you know my clothes are clean and they've been washed inside out. It smells lovely, actually. Mm, that smells really nice. Again, got this in the sale on Sports Direct. It's got a hood to it, which is quite cool. Don't know whether I'll ever use that when I'm running. Long sleeved, really nice colour, really nice purple colour. Is this the one that's got the little, yeah, it's got the little um, hole for your thumb there as well, so it just kind of can keep half of your hand warm if you need that when you're running. And yeah, just really, really light, nice. It's, I was gonna say, I said really, really light then. Um, it's part of the X Light range again by Caramore and is just kind of long, really nice extra layer that I think will come in handy. One more clothes item to show you. That's obviously inside out because why wouldn't it be? This is Caramore X Light range again and it's a nice pink colour just for a change because I think at the time I'd literally all I owned was black and grey and I thought do you know what I need to add a little bit of colour into my sports wardrobe and I saw this pink and I thought do you know what that would be really really nice. This is a nice long sleeved got the little thing for your thumb again here which I quite like and it's quite a thick material. Oh, little safety stripes there as well so you can be seen and yeah just a nice long sleeved thick top really but yeah will keep me warm when I'm out running when it starts to get colder. I'm in that phase where I'm really looking forward to running in the rain and running in weather that's a little bit colder because I feel like I just absolutely boiled running in the in the summer. I loved it but boy did I sweat a lot and I went for a run the other day as I say in the pouring rain it was still really really warm so it was lovely and that's just made me think oh it's so nice but then I'm forgetting about the fact when it gets cold and icy it's not gonna be as much fun. These are Brooks running trainers. Now I pretty much at the beginning for about a year ran in Caramore trainers which were great but I started to get a sore hip I didn't know what it was to do with um, I got some tablets from the doctors because I think it was like a torn ligament or something in my hip that just didn't heal. But it's around about the same time that I actually bought these 
don't really want to smell the bottom of them. They have just been washed though because of my crazy rain run the other day. They got absolutely drenched in puddles. So I have washed them. They, I think I've been out in them once since though. So they still look a little, no, I have been out in them once since. I will not smell the bottom from them. Keep them away from me. So yeah, these are just incredible. The difference, so I replaced these just at the same time as I started taking these tablets. So I don't really know whether it was the change in my trainers or the tablets that did it, but like a week later my hip was fine and I could run again with no pain. It's amazing because I kind of suffered for months and didn't realise that I needed to do something about it. So these are the Dyad 10 Brooks trainers and they have made a massive difference. They're so comfortable to run in. Little tip if you don't know, get a size or half a size or just something a little bit bigger. Don't go for ones that are just about fit. Go for something slightly bigger for your feet. So I got size nine, just to give you that room for your feet to expand and move a little bit when you run. Apparently you need that, so that's them. This is called a spy belt. Now my friends advised me to get this because they said it was brilliant and I have tried quite a few run belts and none of them have been as good as this. They've all been with slightly thicker straps and they always irritate me like I know my phone's there in my belt I can feel it I do have to adjust it sometimes because it's kind of slipped down and I just I didn't really believe that this would actually stay in place but I went for 10k the other day and it did not move I didn't have to adjust it once I felt so much more free usually I just feel that weight around my waist and I didn't feel it, feel it with this at all I don't know what it is but this magically fits your phone because it stretches, it looks like it doesn't fit much, but it genuinely fits quite a large phone in there. You can put your keys in there, put anything in there, and it fits. And it just, it just feels different to other ones. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it was 19.99, but it's definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. I have so many of these. Absolutely loads, right? These are all my colors. I think these are all of them. I got some of these from Amazon and some of them are the Heike, I don't know how to say this word, this make. And I like both of them just the same. They just have different designs basically. Um, to be honest, like this brand's like more expensive, but the ones that I bought from Amazon are just as good to be honest. Really funky designs. I just kind of choose whichever one goes with my outfits or what have you, whichever colour I fancy wearing. And I just find it sits around your head, helps keep your ears warm if it's a little bit chilly, stops your hair from falling in your face. Because if you're like me, I just get these odd flyaways that even if I tie my hair back sometimes, especially if it's windy, strands of my hair just like to come free and attack my face. And <laughs> these just kind of stop that from happening and I absolutely love them. So definitely suggest investing in some of these if you or anything like me and just want to keep your hair out of your face because anything that irritates me when I'm running just really really puts me off. There we go, that's all of my running gear. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that some of that kind of inspired you to, I hope this inspired you to get out running. No, I hope that this, um, you probably didn't watch this unless you were actually into exercising but if you've got any questions about any of the clothes that I've shown you or if you've got any suggestions for me about clothes that I definitely should be investing in as well, if there's something I'm missing let me know. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.